This is the purple pillow, a 10 pound, $100 pillow. Can it possibly live up to the price and the advertising hype? That's what I'll find out in today's review. This thing is heavy. It actually feels more like a mini mattress than a pillow. Okay, I didn't really see any instructions with this, but I'm gonna open this up. It supposedly has adjustable boosters which can change the size of the pillow, so let's check that out. I'm gonna start with them both in, and then if it's too high for my taste, I will take these out. Let's take it in the bedroom and see how it works. 11.6 pounds. That is just when it's in the box though, so it's gonna be pretty heavy even out of the box. Well, I was gonna go test it out in my bedroom, but once I put it on my bed and gave it a shot, I realized there's a really bad smell with it. It smells like gasoline flavored plastic. So the company says to get that smell out, you can rinse it out with some warm water and detergent and wash the pillowcase. So I'm gonna do those things because before I can really test out the purple pillow, I've gotta get rid of the purple stench. Some of the YouTube videos I've seen show a white powder in the bottom. Um, I'm not really seeing a white powder. Supposedly it's there to help this from, prevent this from sticking, but I'm gonna wash this anyways. This is gonna go in the washing machine, and this supposedly I'm just gonna wash with some warm water and detergent. Hopefully that smell comes out. I'm gonna leave it outside because it's, it's pretty bad. So I've got some warm water and detergent in this bucket. I think I'm just gonna pour them over the pillow, maybe shake it dry, let it dry outside for a while, and see if it helps. Now I'm gonna get some clean water and rinse that out. Maybe I'll take these off too. I got the purple pillows sitting out in the sun, drying out from rinsing it off. I've also got the inserts over here kind of drying out as well. I wish I didn't have to do this to use the pillow, but there's no way I could sleep on that with my face directly against that smell, it was just too strong. Hopefully this helps a little bit and I can get started with my actual review. There's a lot of videos out there talking about this white powder on the purple pillow. Well, the white powder is polyethylene, which is used in all kinds of products from makeup to food packaging. It's a pretty common material. I'm not too worried about it. In fact, when I rinsed it off to get the smell out, I really couldn't detect much white powder left anyways. Plus some of the earlier videos I've seen seem to have a lot of white powder. The one I received had very minimal. I could barely even detect it on there. So I'm not really too concerned about that mysterious white powder people talk about. The purple pillow is now dry. Now what I wanted to see if, if any of this mysterious powder that people keep talking about actually still so shows up on here after I've already rinsed it out with warm water and detergent and let it dry outside. And we'll see if anything else is on here. So I have this clean black towel. As you can see, it's, there's nothing on it. I'm gonna kind of rub it around there, maybe stick it in some of the openings and see if I can get any white powder to appear on here. Just do something like that. Stick my finger in there. It's like a little bit of residue. I don't know if you can see that or not. Very little bit. If there is some residue, it's actually very faint. Okay, there could be a little bit there. Again, I don't. I don't think it's as bad as some of the other videos I've seen on this. Pillowcase has been washed, it came out nicely. No smell, the smell is gone from the pillowcase, that's good. I still smell that chemical smell on here. Um, it doesn't seem as bad as before, so I'm gonna try to sleep with it tonight and see if I can handle it. I might have to go outside and wash it one or two more times before that smell's gone. These are the two included boosters. They still have a smell too. They actually may smell worse than the, the pillow do. I'm gonna leave these off, number one because of the smell, and number two because I, I like thinner pillows, so I'm gonna leave these out. Sleep on the purple pillow tonight and see how it goes. All right, so tonight is the night I'm gonna test out the purple pillow for the first time. A few things about this. This thing is a behemoth. I mean, it's a 10 pound pillow. It's also pretty rectangular and very flat. Now, one thing is a lot of people don't like thin pillows. I love thin pillows, so that's already a plus in my book. It's very cool to touch as far as my head goes. The material is very cool. Now, as far as the smell goes, like I said, it's not 100% out. I might have to wash it again tomorrow or even the next day. It's out of the pillowcase. It's, I think, bearable tonight. 
Hopefully, if I wake up in the middle of the night and it smells bothering me, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. I like the thinness of it, and the material's different. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of what I expected from the pictures, but it's still weird to put your head on it. I think some people like this pillow and some people don't. I guess we'll find out which camp I fall into after tonight. All right, so I've been using the purple pillow for about four nights now, and here are some of my observations after that much use. Um, it's a, obviously it's a heavy pillow. You're not gonna turn this over because only one side is usable. It feels very cool at first, but it does eventually warm up. Uh, it's pretty thin, which I do like, but it's pretty firm, which I don't like. I've also realized that if you put your shoulders and your head on the pillow, that they don't really compress the pillow enough to create support where your neck is at. If you sleep high on the pillow like this, you know, I don't really feel as much support under my neck as I probably would like because my head and my shoulders aren't pushing the pillow down as much as I would have expected. If you have your shoulders off of the pillow, which means in my case, I have to lay with, with my feet farther down than I'm used to, it actually feels pretty good because it goes from my shoulders on the bed to my head being supported. Side sleeping works pretty well when your shoulders are off the pillow. Not so much when your shoulders are on the pillow because I'm kind of doing this. Most pillows kind of have a taper where they're smaller on the sides. You know, and there's a contour like that. This pillow is really completely straight all the way down. So that kind of thing affects maybe the way you're gonna sleep on it. It takes some getting used to. I'm still dealing with the smell. Um, I'm putting it outside to air out every day. They told me to air it out. To their credit, they did tell me that if I couldn't get the smell out, they would send me a new pillow, which I think that it's getting better to the point where I probably won't need them to do that. But it's kind of an inconvenience that I had to deal with in the first place. Apparently not everybody has that problem, but I had that problem. On the Purple Pillow website, it has a four star rating. On Amazon, it's got about a 3.1 star rating. I've noticed a lot of the older reviews on Amazon tend to talk about the inflatable booster, which is not even included with the product anymore. So take that with a grain of salt when you're reading some of those older reviews because that's a feature that doesn't even exist anymore. They used to have an inflatable insert which you had to blow up like a pool toy. They've replaced that with two foam inserts you can use one or both together to boost it up if the pillow isn't quite high enough for you. My pros would be that it actually does stay cool and it doesn't require any fluffing. I think the purple pillow is pretty well made. The customer service, I think, was pretty responsive. They actually respond to my question, and they even offered to send me a new one if I couldn't get the smell out. They also have a 100-day satisfaction guarantee, and the shipping was free. I also like the fact that it's, because it's so heavy, that it doesn't really shift around at night while you're sleeping. Now, if you wanna talk about cons, the first thing I have to mention is the price, which at $100 seems pretty steep for a pillow. I think that might discourage some people from trying it out. The other thing is that it's flat and firm. It's kind of a combination that not a lot of people like. I like flat and soft. I'm kind of getting used to the texture, so I think I'll be able to adjust to it. But if you don't like flat and firm, you might have a problem with it. Even though there are inserts that boost it about another inch and a half, that still may not be enough for some people who like thicker pillows. To me, the biggest problem was the smell. When I first opened it up, it took me several days to get rid of it. Fortunately, the customer service did give me some tips on how to get rid of it, but it would have been nice to not have to deal with that in the first place. Another thing relating to the flat problem is that there's no contour, which means depending on how you sleep on it, you may not get a lot of support below your neck. You might have to adjust the way you sleep on it for the contour to not be a problem. The final problem, which isn't a problem for me, is that it's a 10 pound pillow. Now, some people may not want to have a 10 pound pillow in their bed. Who needs barbells when you have a 10 pound pillow you can just curl before you go to sleep at night? When you're trying to carry this thing around and move it, it's actually very flimsy and floppy. I mean, look at that. You probably get a workout moving this thing around. This has nothing to do with my actual review, but I want to see how Bailey reacts to it since I haven't had Bailey in this video yet. Bailey, what's that? What is that, Bailey? See, she doesn't care. She's sniffing it. She keeps going back to sniffing it. I figure since the dog's sense of smell is supposed to be like so much stronger than humans, maybe she'll tell me if it's dangerous. That's telling me it's not dangerous. Is, it, is this dangerous, Bailey? Is it dangerous? No? Look, it's almost like liquid-like when it moves around. Bailey, should I sleep on this? Is this dangerous or not? Okay, I think Bailey says it's okay. Bailey says it's safe. But if you look at how the material is, it's, it's very rubbery. But because there's so much air in there, it's actually kind of soft as well. I thought I'd give a little quick comparison of four pillows I reviewed so far. You got the purple pillow here, the Miracle Bamboo pillow, the My Pillow Travel, and the regular My Pillow. If you look at how thick they all are, 
as you can see next to the my pillow look how and the miracle bamboo pillow back there look how much thinner it is if you bring the my pillow travel in here it's actually still thinner than that one even softness wise it's kind of hard to demonstrate on video but you can see how that one compresses this is kind of firm too that one's so thin it really doesn't really need much compression this i think is also very thick as well i like this one for propping myself up when i'm reading in bed this one i really don't use too much i actually kind of like this one i take it with me when i take road trips to california i've been using this one for about a week now i'm getting used to it it's a very different texture than you're used to it's it's almost like fleshy it's like a fleshy material like i said before the thinness i like the firmness not as much i'm getting used to it though i'm going to keep using it though because not only do I want to get my money's worth, I think I can probably deal with the, the size and the firmness of it. It's very subjective though. Some people will love a thin, firm pillow. Some people will hate it. That's why the reviews seem to be all over the place for this item. And that's why you have people that love the Miracle Bamboo Pillow. Some people love the MyPillow. And some people who may even like the MyPillow Travel. Have you used this giant purple pillow? Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, Freaking Reviews.